Hey, welcome back. I'm Rob Roach. You're watching Kettle Bottom Outdoor Pursuits. I got myself a fluke here, and it's been on ice for two days, and I can't stress enough how important it is to let the meat rest on the bone when you catch a fish. Go ahead and put it in the cooler and let it sit from anywhere from 12 to 48 hours before you fillet it. You'll get a much better fillet, and you'll get a much nicer cooked fish. So what I'm going to do right now is quickly show you how to fillet the fluke prior to cooking the fluke inside. And the way that I do uh, my fluke is I get four fillets out of it. I get two off the top and two off the bottom. So let me begin. I'm just going to go behind the gill here on the top and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut straight back to this fin here. And then I'm going to take the blade and keep it nice and high so we don't puncture any of the guts. And then you're basically going to take it right down the middle of this fluke here, divide it in half. Then you just take that cut and you start there and you start working towards the outside of the fish, slowly but surely taking away the top fillet. This is a rather big fluke, so we're going to get a nice big fillet out of it. And finish it off. There's the first fillet. This is the larger fillet on the top. And we're going to go ahead and take the bottom fillet on the gut side. Same way. Start from the middle and work your way to the outside. Now we've got two fillets here, but we're not done yet. The bonus with fluke, you got two more fillets on the other side. So go ahead and flip it over and you got the bottom side, the side that usually sits on the sand or the rocky surface. And we're going to take two more fillets off this bottom side, same way as we did on the top. Don't forget, there's all this meat just behind the head here. If you take a straight cut down like this, you're going to miss all this meat up here. And on the larger ones, sometimes too, you can take the cheeks. So again, I'm going to go right behind the head there, make the blade shallow. You even have a line to tell you where to cut on the bottom side here. You're going to go ahead and follow that line straight down to the tail of the fish. And again, Work your way to the outside. Start from the middle, work your way to the outside. Fillet number three. And finally, fillet number four. There's four beautiful fluke fillets that we can take inside and make into dinner. And if you have a little piece left over or, the, or a little piece of the meat falls off like this, you can feed the dogs with it. Dogs love sushi. Now the final step in the fluke fillet process is the skinning. And if you have a nice skinny blade like I have here, and it's sharp enough, it shouldn't be a problem at all. So make sure the scales are off of the blade. Take the fillet from the back and start by cutting down vertically. And then you turn the blade and go parallel with the skin while holding the skin with your fingernails. And it'll just simply be one shot deal like that. You can see that the fluke fillet is great. Left a little touch of skin right there, but it actually Part of some meat that we're not going to use so you just pull that off and you can see the bottom of the fluke fillet and the top look identical and it's ready for the dish.
can do most of the cleaning up of the filet while you're filleting on the filet table rather than in the kitchen. You're a little ahead of the game.